How's it going guys? This is Twister and today I'm back with another GTA Online video and today I'm going to be showing you my Tropos rally car that I have actually already bought and fully upgraded it but I'll, uh, I'll be going through some of the upgrades that I've chosen to uh, to get that really cool retro rally look because I had already bought this because I wanted to uh, to purchase it and mess around with the colours and uh, really try and go for that classic uh, Lancia Strasos rally look uh, and it looks pretty good so uh, I'll get onto that in a second but here you can see my uh, my trio of supercars, and these look pretty decent. If you have missed uh, my previous videos where I upgraded the Tyrus, the RE7B, and the ETR1, I'll link those down in the description so you guys can check those out. But yeah, in this one, here we go, is the uh, the Lampadati Tropos Rally Car. We've gone, I've tried to go for that Lancia Stratos uh, retro look to it. You can't get it exact, but I've tried to get as close to it as I can while still maintaining a decent look so I'm gonna drive it down into the customs show you all the upgrades you can put on it show you the upgrades that I chose to, uh, to try and get that retro uh, rally car look and uh, yeah it should be it should be pretty fun I can't actually wait to uh, to race this thing once I buy the obey rally car as well uh, I'll have both of them and I actually plan on racing them against each other and comparing them on a proper off-road track to see which one is actually the best rally car out of the two because I think they might perform differently off-road. I driven the stock one of this and it drove so smoothly on the on the dirt roads. It was pretty unreal, but here we are in the customs now. So the upgrades as usual, went for full armor, went for full race brakes, full engine upgrade. Uh, we got some exhaust options. There's the uh, it's like a rusty stock one. You got a chrome tip exhaust and you can also get a titanium tuner one. Now down to the grill. This is where the uh, proper rally modifications start with the uh, the rally fogs. There we go. Uh, you can also get a vented hood as well compared to a stock one. Um, then going down to the lights. I didn't actually go for any xenon lights. I can see there's the uh, the flip up headlights uh, like custom feature. Well, it's not a custom feature, but it is a cool feature. But I wanted to keep the stock ones just to keep it uh, nice and retro. Now here's where things start to get interesting. So I've gone for this Stronzo livery because this has the kind of correct colour scheme that you want for this car although this one has kind of like the the proper paint job you want the, the you, you want the green and red colours but I suppose if you do want the uh, the red and blue paint job you can but for the retro classic look I did go for the Stronzo one and of course like the other ones like any of the new cars you can choose to have no livery on this car as well but yeah I went for the Stronzo one now down to the play I just went for yellow on black uh, respray so I kept the primary color as a metallic ice white again we just want that uh, that proper rally look to it so we didn't bother changing the, the primary color to anything silly uh, the secondary color I did change now I could have kept it white but I went for a metallic Torino red just to get a bit more of that red color on the roof so I thought that one looked pretty uh, pretty decent and uh, that's most of it done the other options are um, unpainted louvers but we really just want to keep those that nice red color uh, for the spoiler, uh, this is the stock spoiler, you can have no spoiler for the roof spoiler and then a, an extended roof spoiler as well, so I just went for the extended option. Uh, transmission obviously, full transmission, turbo tuning of course. Now the wheels, so the wheels that I went for are tuners, these are the group Z options in the tuners now. I'll show you the stock ones, the stock ones obviously plain and simple, but they wouldn't look too bad, they would be pretty decent if you could actually change the colour of them. Now I've talked about this before, the fact that you still can't change the colour on stock rims which is really annoying. They wouldn't look too bad if you could change them to yellow, but I went down to uh, to tuners. You could have a, you could have different options for these to be honest, but I went for the Group Z. I just thought those looked the best. You've got that like, you've got the chrome lip around it as well, which, which I thought looks quite good on this car. And then just that classic um, bright yellow rim colour as well. So yeah, that is Pretty much it for this car. Uh, to finish off, there's the race yellow rim colour. And then uh, I went for the, obviously, custom tyres to get the nice text on the side. Bulletproof tyres, didn't go for any tyre smoke. And then I did just finish it off with some light smoke on the windows. So that is it for this car. I'll bring it outside and I'll show you guys the pop-up headlights. Because that's one of my favourite features on this car. I think it's the only car to have proper pop-up headlights. I know the... Jukes had like some uh, some sliding covers over the headlights that you could um, activate, but this has got the proper power headlights, which is 
pretty nice there. We'll check out first person again, like the other race cars, pretty cool, pretty cool indeed. But yeah, I'll just take it back to the garage and uh, we'll finish up this video. So uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you leave it a like rating. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Cunning Stunts DLC uh, and hopefully you'll look forward to comparing the two rally cars. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna um, buy the Obey Omni rally car straight after this. I've got 900k and I think it's about 700k so I might just have enough. So I'll probably go and do that right now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a like rating, subscribe if you are new and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later guys.